Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today I have for you guys something really special. This past weekend, we had a Glee challenge at my local card shop, and I don't know if you can see there, well, let's get it closer, hopefully it focuses, but I got first place. I am super stoked, this is my first, first place win in a league challenge. And I couldn't be happier with the card, it's a frost mod. One of the cards I really wanted to collect. I'm still ecstatic on how well I did. I mean, I wasn't expecting to do that well. I was running a Zashin Melkario deck, and there were so many fire decks that I didn't expect to win. Especially my first round, I completely got decimated by a fire deck. Um, it was made by one of my friends, and that Meg Cargo deck was crazy, trust me. I'm gonna have to ask him for his deck list later, because it was an amazing deck for sure. But, I ended up getting first place with three wins and that one loss. So, I am super excited. We did get this one card, and we did get seven packs in total for winning. Oop, they're upside down. So... Today we're going to be opening up these winning packs and see if we can get anything great for them. Because to my knowledge, at least what I didn't hear was a lot of people saying WHOA at the end of the tournament from the stuff they pulled. So I think I might have gotten a lot of good stuff from the booster box. We'll have to see today. Anyways, let's go on to the other camera oh. and see what we're going to pull today. Let's go ahead and make sure. Frostmoth is situated there and move on to the first pack. So yeah, I think that booster box that they were giving the stuff out of was already opened. I'm not sure, but like I said, I didn't hear too many people get excited about anything this and any of the stuff they pulled from their packs. So maybe they were just being quiet or maybe they didn't get anything and maybe I got a bunch of packs of really great stuff. We'll see today. But we're starting off with a Dottler, a Galarian Stunfisk, uh, Reboot, all right, Pikachu, Meowth, a Sizzlepeed, Wooloo, Grookey, a Sinistee Reverse, Ooh. and a Stone Jewel to start us off for our rares, all right. But I'm, I'm hoping we get at least a Ultra Rare from these packs today. I mean... I did only pay, I think, about five bucks to get into this uh, league challenge. So the return is pretty crazy. I mean, that Frostmoth card alone, I think, goes for about eight bucks, which I'm never going to trade away. That is a, it's a trophy on its own. But then to get seven packs, which is about $28 for five dollars, that's crazy. I got super lucky. I mean, I played against two other fire decks, one being the uh, variation of what Tord was using at the Oceanic Regionals, and I didn't expect to win. I lost the first round for both of my the three other matches that I that I won. So I I was super ecstatic. I didn't think this uh, Melcario deck was gonna do so well, but it definitely knows how to just disrupt the opponent so they can't do anything. On my last match, I was just crushing, hammering their energies away and they couldn't attack. We got a Lapras V! <laughs> oh, oh man, we got a Lapras V. This is actually our first Lapras V, I believe. Uh, I don't know where our, where are our sleeves. Here they are. Lapras V! Oh man. All right, we have one and one, I think. So we have one Lapras V and one Lapras V Max. So we just need uh, two more Lapras V Max and three more Lapras V, I think is what that one deck list I made was. So, all right, anyways, <laughs> going on. So yeah, that Melcario deck, I might put it out, maybe in this description, maybe I'll make a full video of it. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I am, Really glad that deck did really well. It's uh, something I definitely enjoy playing. I might play that for a while. It definitely has a lot of consistency when it comes to just being able to take a lot of hits. That minus 60 damage and no resistance is really helpful. Let's see here. Yamper, Grookey, Kerfant, 
Quillfish and a Drapion. All right. So guys, have you guys started playing at all? Let me know down in the comments if you guys play either on the online game or in person. And if you have played, let me know how you guys are doing. Do you think you're a good player? I mean, we all kind of suck, trust me. I remember getting like 16th out of 17th in the very beginning, but you know what? I finally got first place in something, so I'm super happy. All right, let's see if there's gonna be any other ultra rare Pokemon today. We have a Maractus, a Mudray, a Poke Kid Reverse, and another ultra rare. Are you kidding me? I think I did get a bunch of good packs from this winnings. We got a Snorlax V, our second Snorlax. Nice. All right, all right. I'm liking these pulls so far. It looks like both the Frost Moth, the Win, and these packs are just awesome all around. Let's see. Maybe we can end on. Or not end, but at least pull a Secret Rare or something. Who knows? Let's see what else we have today. Well, we have a bunch of code cards for you guys, so enjoy those. Let me know if you guys pull anything awesome from those codes if you do get them. Let's see, Mincino. That's another deck. I actually didn't see the Sincino Mill deck. I think there was one going around, but I didn't see it at the very end. Let's see. Totney, a Pikachu Reverse, and a Morpeko. All right. Moving on to the second to last pack. So guys, do you guys actually compete? Let me know down in the comments if you compete in any Pokemon tournaments. And if you have, let me know how you in if you enjoy them or if you didn't. And I do encourage all of my viewers to at least try playing the card game. It's a lot of fun. Trust me. I enjoy it. even when I don't get like first or anywhere in the top eight it's still a lot of fun to just be able to play with these cards collecting them is great but you know what having them just sit around isn't that much fun yeah it's great to look at but you know what it's great to use too let's see shelter a Poltegeist and a Lapras all right well I did say it was an open box, so maybe the secret rare had already been pulled, or maybe someone didn't open their packs the day of. Because I usually don't open my packs the day of, so we'll see if we get anything here at the very end. I'm really hoping we do. Let's see here. Rare Candy, a Lucky Egg, Hoot Hoot, Pinkerton, Volpix, a Nicket, Ball Toy, Yamper and an Orbeetle. All right. Well, we didn't get any other pulls other than the Snorlax V and the Lapras V. But you know what? This Lapras V is something I really needed. So I'm still happy with this opening, and I'm super happy with getting first place here at this tournament. I mean, I still can't believe it. Even to this day, this is like three days later recording this. I mean, I am super happy that this deck did really well. The Zashi Melkario, I didn't think was going to do as good as the ZDP, and I was taken aback. I mean, I did see, I think, two or three other ZDPs playing around, but my version apparently got a lot more wins than the others. But hopefully, I am able to get that video out sometime and just showing you guys what I actually used to get first place and maybe you guys can try it out if you'd like but thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please let me know get subscribed ring that bell and also don't forget to let me know what you guys are pulling what uh competitions you guys are going to if you're going to any competitions or if you have any questions about playing pokemon tcg let me know i'll be happy to answer any questions and as always guys thanks for watching